Since making his F1 debut as a teenager in 2015, Max Verstappen has gone on to become Formula One's leading star. The Red Bull driver won his maiden driver's championship last season, and he looks well-placed to win another one this term. His stats are super impressive, and he's clearly getting better with every race. In fact, he's looked invincible a couple of times, and no matter how hard other drivers tried, they just cannot seem to catch up with him on the track. Join us in today's video as we reveal why Max Verstappen is unbeatable. Qualifying wasn't Verstappen's biggest strength in junior racing, but he has become better at it as he's grown into his career. As we all know, a good qualifying run on Saturday usually sets the pace for a perfect Sunday. Verstappen has come to understand this even more, and that's one of the reasons behind his current dominance. He claimed his 16th pole at the 2022 Austrian Grand Prix, moving ahead of Charles Leclerc on the all-time list. Nonetheless, he still has a long way to go if he's going to equal Lewis Hamilton's record of 103 pole positions. Right from his days as a rookie, Verstappen's ability as a Formula One driver has always been impressive. But his skill set has grown even more in the last few years. We all know that he has raw talent and can pull off extreme moves with the car even during critical moments of the race. Sometimes it works and other times it doesn't. But in recent times, Verstappen has added some calmness to his game. He has become more calculative and patient, yet he's managed to maintain his predator instincts and the right amount of aggression. With these qualities, Verstappen has improved to become a better all-round driver. His racecraft was key in his championship win last season. He has continued with the same path this season, and so far, it looks like he'll win it for the second season in a row. We're halfway into the season and he's gotten 258 points already. That's 80 points more than Charles Leclerc in second place. Verstappen's timing is another thing that has made him unbeatable, especially in wheel-to-wheel -wheel situations. The Red Bull driver has become so efficient in this regard, other drivers know they stand no chance of defeating him once they see him approaching. Nowadays, Verstappen's moves are clean and inch perfect. His margin for error has reduced significantly as well, and that has made him an unbeatable monster on the track. Another trick that has worked for Verstappen is that he has learned not to ask too much of his opponent when passing. In Formula One, passing is inevitable, but many things can go wrong in the process, particularly if a driver asks too much from the opponent. Verstappen has had some failed attempts at passing opponents in his career, but more often than not, he always gets it right. Tire management is another fundamental quality that every great racer should have, and Max Verstappen has shown that he knows how to get the best from his tyres, at least since he joined Red Bull. It was obvious from his first race with the team where he won the Spanish Grand Prix with a two-stop strategy that he's not looked back since then. In that same race, Verstappen displayed some brilliant battery power management skills. Despite coming under pressure from Kimi Raikkonen, he held his own and managed the situation like a pro. During the early days of his career, Verstappen was capable of being too aggressive and moving carelessly in the braking zone. His infamous move on Kimi Raikkonen on the Camel Straight at the Belgium Grand Prix in 2016 showcased this flaw. However, Verstappen has since made adjustments to reduce his level of aggression. But as we mentioned earlier, he's kept some of his aggression and can always cool on it if need be. This gives him a special blend between ice-cold composure and sheer force, which many drivers on the grid don't have. Verstappen's exceptional knowledge of driving means he's able to return good feedback to the team, which makes it easier to resolve. And that's one of the reasons he's head and shoulders above other drivers. Aside from his great feedback, Verstappen has a good relationship with Gian Piero Lambias, his race engineer, similar to the close connection between Hamilton and Peter Bonington that has produced a record-breaking six championships. Although conversations between Verstappen and Lambias can get heated sometimes, especially from the driver's end. But it's all in a bid to win, which both men understand. Over the years, they've gone through the highs and lows together, and there's so much respect between them. Max Verstappen doesn't turn 25 until September, but ironically, he has had a lot of experience under his belt already. Before making his debut as a 17-year-old at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix, 
Verstappen had been learning the basics of Formula One from his father, Joe Verstappen, who was an ex-Formula One racer himself. Joe wasn't exactly successful in his Formula One career. He raced for seven teams in eight seasons, but never won a race. In fact, he finished his career with a total of 17 points. However, his guidance and mentorship has been key in shaping his son's career. Verstappen has had the opportunity to learn from his father's mistakes right from an early age, which is a privilege that most F1 drivers don't have. Interestingly, Verstappen's mum, Sophie Kumpen, was also a kart racing champion too. You could say he got some of his driving skills from her as well. Apart from being raised by former racers, Verstappen had a smooth career path to the top. His first outing in the F1 was with Scudera Toro Rosso before he joined Red Bull in the 2016 season. And that certainly has to count for something, especially for someone that joined the sport at an early age. You can tell that he's well grounded, and it's no surprise that he has achieved so much already. Verstappen's mental strength is something you cannot take away from him. He has always had this me against the world mentality, and that has contributed to his success on the track. Even when things are not going his way, or when there is a controversial story about him in the media, he channels the negative energy towards improving and winning the next race. Verstappen believes a lot in his abilities, and there's this positive arrogance about him that breeds confidence. We saw him display these qualities several times last season. The way he snatched the title from a serial winner and legend like Lewis Hamilton says it all. Although there are times when he might come off as being proud or overconfident. And we've seen instances where he's made silly mistakes and refused to change his approach due to his stubbornness, like it happened in the 2018 season. But that's part of his personality and you cannot fault him for it. Besides, if you examine his career as a whole, he has had more success than failure. So whatever he's doing must be working for him. Great drivers are known for being the focal point of their teams. But in the end, without the proper support around them, it is impossible to reach the highest level. There's no doubt Verstappen is the main man at Red Bull, but his success story will never be complete without the help of his team. Although Verstappen looks like a tough personality on camera, it's obvious he has a good working relationship with his team. Right from Christian Horner, who is the team boss, to his racing engineer, who we mentioned earlier, and the pit stop guys, everyone has contributed their quota to Max Verstappen's success. Even Checo Perez has had to play his part as well, and that's how it should be. We must not forget the contribution of the guys at Honda as well, because it's impossible to challenge for the title without a good engine. Max Verstappen has had an impressive Formula One career so far, and if he continues with this unbeatable form, he will go on to achieve even bigger things. But does he have what it takes to equal the records set by Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton? Let us know what you think in the comments section.